Hello, lovely people, and thank you for joining me for yet another episode of Metro Exodus. Today, we are going to be tackling one of the DLCs. There's two of them. I know nothing about them. I just bought the deluxe edition or whatever, and so we're going to discover it together. That one is still downloading. After a new level is loaded, the previous autosaves progress will eventually be overwritten. Your quick saves will not be influenced. Okay. Anna, my daughter. The year we spent on the road gave me time to think about things. Respect, responsibilities, duties. What years spent on the road? They all mean nothing. It was like two months. It's important. My family, you. I'm sorry, I only got it now. I'll hey, go through this snow covered graveyard with a sieve if that's what it takes to find the cure. As for Artyom, oh. he feels his guilt. He wants to atone. I'll just have to see that atonement doesn't cost him his life. The important Unfortunately, part is that I'm back in Metro, and no mutant can stop me here. Radiation on the surface is different, though. Frankly, I thought I was buying a one-way ticket for myself going in. You said you were going Unfortunately, the institute. You are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. But now, thanks to the green stuff given to us by Kirill, we both have a chance to achieve the goal and survive. So, unfortunately, <laughs> left. I'd better get ready to set out too. What about me, Colonel? You'll stay here. I'm putting you in charge of communications. I need someone to coordinate the operation. Can you handle the responsibility? Yes, sir. I can. Good. Uh, by the way, Private, how did you leave here before the riots, when there was still enough green stuff to go around? Uh, we did all right. But my dad was always out on a mission or a patrol. His voice sounds different. You barely saw him? Oh, no. That did his best to come home earlier, especially on the holidays. We even spent the last New Year's together. So we get to see the story from the Colonel's point of view, which is cool. Because I was wondering how his journey went. Oh, wait, do we? Colonel Klepnikov. Colonel, sir. The maintenance guys asked to remind you to burn all the slime around the pumps once you reach them. Uh oh, I say the slime is done for. Colonel Klepnikov himself is taking up the flamethrower. <laughs> Don't jinx it. As for flamethrower, where is it? This is. Uh, Here you go, Colonel Sir. Mind you, it's quite heavy. I know. Is it pressurized? It should be, but I'd still check. And the handle's on the side. Give it a pump or two if needed. If you want something done, you have to do it yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm off. Give Slime some hell, too. We'll do just that, sir. We certainly will. Break away. No, thank we you. Both. Oh, thanks. I can't move. I guess I have to wait for them to peace out. Bye, guys. Is this telling how his dad never made it home? Press L2 to light your way and burn nearby targets. Like snakes? I don't have to go through there, do I? What's in here? Oh, there's no metal detector. <laughs> Damn, this thing is huge. Order to all groups. I just saw a fully grown worm, so watch out. Oh, is that something? Alder, red one here. Roger that. Red two, roger. Keep your eye out for little red squares. Red three, roger that, sir. Good. Oh, I'm not, I don't even have to like flame. I'm gonna kill you.
Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, that's one thing that I didn't do was look at the notes. I wanted to show you guys the, the notes that I was picking up throughout the, the second half of the game. But I forgot. Wow. Okay. I was pounding on the square button. Man. Wait, did I get the... Okay, ready? The button prompt disappears, and I don't know if I'm supposed to keep pounding on it anyway. If I just keep pounding on it. Ew, what's that? I need power. I want to go in the water. Got oh, the squishy noise. I don't know why I'm being conservative with the flames, but I am. Loot! Because I don't even have to, like, light it up. Still seems to damage me. What is that? You have loot. Um, where am I going? Oh, oh, oh. Drain. That's worse. This doesn't seem very good for my health. Let's go this way first. All gone. Look for little leaf icons. I guess that's a flame. Never <laughs> Not a leaf. Same difference. Turning off my flame whenever I interact with something. What? 
Oh yeah, I forgot. Oh, I guess I got hurt on purpose. Thanks. Um, what am I doing? Why isn't it working? what I was pushing where for, man. It's very weird not having the metal detector noise helping me out. Um, yes, I've already forgotten where I came from and where I was going. And I just have a gun, like a normal person. I tried to dodge. That was my speedy dodge. So this thing... loses its pump over time whether I'm using it or not. Pretty quickly, too. I keep hearing squishy noises and thinking it's those... those things. ranges on this thing. Maybe I should find out. Stops the water flow. Roger that, Alder. What hurt me? Alder, red three here. I found the valve and it's proceeding as planned. Was it that thing? Good job, red three. I don't know. Maybe it was like scripted. There should not be scripted damage. I just got to say. Oh, I can only, like... Oh. That bits. 
bits for my flamethrower. My least favorite mechanic in the game was constantly having to pump up <laughs> my flashlight. That's that's why I never used the pneumatic. Oh, come on. It doesn't turn and start running very quickly. Um, and so now there's a whole DLC. Can I jump out? I'm gonna miss. What? Why can't I shoot? like it knew I would need that. No, I don't want to go in there. Can I not? Oh, I can't. Where am I going then? What? Did, oh, what did I just um, do? Eh? No. Is a ladder here? I say no. <laughs> Just to make myself feel better. What? Sometimes it just won't fire? I don't know why. I mean, it was lit, wasn't it? table. Where am I supposed to go? I guess I'll figure it out in a second. Flamethrower fuel. Well, first let's Airtight pneumatic system. Pretty much like the standard one, but doesn't lose air if the pressure is above. Small tank. Standard tank. Yes, please. I think I should clean it. I'm at max. Um, I don't know how that happened. Most I can have is 1,000. Saving. 
Um, let's go in here. No! Ha! Missed that, too. Was that the way I'm supposed to go? I kind of think so, so let's go down here. Nice, it's not losing its its pump. Well in the drink, you clench your ass three times. What for? And then what's the slime around the sail with the beam? And you put water than my arm. So it works for it sinks inside. And then you're done for. No doctor can get it out. Modern medicine has no solution. The only way, so you know, wait till the next one is fixed cannot cross the air. My god. <laughs> That's kind of a, a true thing, too, isn't it? Until they mutate to, to be like that. But as for the catwalks, you really should be careful about those. The catwalks? Taking a dive be wary of the catwalks got it saving again so I don't have to do all that again a lamp. <laughs> I knew that. Have I been down there? Yeah, that's where I was. It was telling me to be wary of the catwalk. Not where I'm... No! Run, dude! Why don't you run? Heck. Uh. God. Not where I thought it was an elevator coming down. These noises. <laughs> I thought this was going to tell the Colonel's story. Mother Humper. I like how it lights the, the torches. You got stuff? Why am I crouched? Good sound effects, man. Hey! Don't be all sneaky like on the ground. It almost looks like faces. Is it just me? <coughs> oh. Okay.
Can I reach those from way out here? I don't think so. Probably not. Just run. Run. Oh, thanks, dude. Not great, yes, man. Pretty much. What's up with you? Then go home. Don't be running around with all the equipment. Motherfucker. It's not firing. Uh. Where's the thing that tells me how much, how many, how much flames I have equipped? Are you dead? Why not? Why are you not dying? I'm sorry. Problem. Have I like encountered the immune ones or what? That's more like it. Maybe those ones are bigger. No? Oh, these noises. Do I want to go in there? Maybe I do. I don't know. Dude, I said die. Maybe I do. Yeah. <coughs> Why are you putting the thing down? They sure left flamethrowers laying around everywhere, like they weren't valuable or something. I still have a thousand? Wait, let me see if I need to reload. You contain a significant amount of compressor allowing for longer. Really? Then I'm 
Big tank. That is me. So that was it for that job. I didn't hear it. Damn word you said. Run past. Do I have gear? Like, do I need to fix my gas mask or anything? I don't think so. I think I would have noticed. I'd like to think that I would have noticed. for the smoke to clear out. Go away. Can I kill you guys from here? I don't buy it. for loot. Just in case. I guess it is high capacity. <laughs> uh. Yes, I'm still accidentally meleeing when I don't mean to. a valve that I need to turn to turn off water? Wait, that's a waterfall. Oh, I, do I keep going up? Not reaching. 
Why am I not reaching? Maybe I get closer. Ah! Christ! Why do I sometimes not shoot? Is it really that simple? Is it because it like stops smoking or stops flaming and I don't notice? Because that's annoying. What just happened? Besides that thing not dying when I let it set it on fire. I swear to God. I don't know what what did that do? Oh, it did turn off the water. Isn't that supposed to be burning up? What the fuck? Oh my god. No, it's still not shooting. Why is it not shooting? I can't reload. So that's not it. I have enough air pressure. That's not it. I don't understand. in there. <laughs> Never mind. I'll go this way. Oh no! Maybe it's... Maybe I'm like not coming out of the pumping animation like I think I am or something? After I finish, I hit square again and I hold it. I'm holding it like this. I don't know. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to pound on the button. Colonel, sir, I just had maintenance on the line. They say the water's flowing again. They are sending a team to handle the rest. Mission complete. Please, thank you. 
Oh, that's what I was doing? No, I'm trying to pump, man. Now I'm holding it correctly. God damn it. How do I get in there? Oh, this is that door on the other side. This is where there was smush. And I was like, I don't want to go on through there. Are you done? Now I can't light, I can't light my thing. Why? I can't pump it either. It just doesn't work anymore, okay. Oh, I guess I'm in a safe space. At ease, gentlemen. You did a great job there. I did a great job. Thank you. Frankly, we were on sleep up duty after you, sir. Yeah. Ah, That's what I'd say. Sleep up duty, sure. <laughs> On behalf of Oscom, I'm issuing an official. Sir, take that suit off and put the flamer down, please. They have to be scrubbed for radiation. You'll also be getting a shot of green stuff at the checkpoint. All gone. I like that flamethrower. Weeks worth of exposure, at least. Good. Thank you. fun right here thank you and goodbye my least favorite level in the game but that was still fun thank you i mean hey guys in the main more. game we that level to prospect thank you sir but we're waiting for the transport from hq there's enough space for everyone good luck then let's go petrovich yes sir <laughs> There should be another one on the other side, so two people can do it. Mission accomplished, Comrade General. I'm mostly done, Dolia. The worms are all toast. The guys will handle the mop up, and I'm heading home. It's New Year's Eve, after all. Well, you've got it easy. I hear your son's a captain already. Give my congratulations to Zeny. Boys! You can give them yourself. We're planning a little party on January 2nd. This is cool. It's like a... a ride at the amusement park. <laughs> when that guy was walking. Thank you! It's all on my shoulders. All by myself. This poor guy. Hello. Sir, roll up your sleeve, please. We've got to give you the shot. Here you go. He didn't roll up his sleeve. You just stuck it in his palm. Roll your sleeve up, Petrovich. You get a shot too. Hey, uh, uh, no, please. I'd rather use my own injector at home. Be my guest then. Thank you. What are you doing with that, Petrovich? Don't lean on the doors, please. Next station is Krasne Prospe. <laughs> He's selling it or something. Is your granddaughter getting worse? Oh. No, thank God. Still, standard child's allowance of green stuff is not enough for her. Even though we move to the prospect. So I'm squirreling away whatever I can. Just in case. It's not easy, but we survive, and that's what counts. That's gonna be but tough. Enough about us. <laughs> Tell me if you roasted that shit good. That we did, Petro. I did something, that I don't know. 
<laughs> uh, my friend, that is good to hear. Still, it will just... All these little details. Time. Like it People all carry the barrels. I see the pumps are failing. It's because of that slime. And they've been working non-stop for 20 years. Oh, and all this shit. The filters get clogged, the O-rings, they burst, the iron rusts. Dude carrying boxes up there. The old counterfeiting system will give up the ghost. And <laughs> we'll have to robots here. <laughs> You'd make a good gondolier. <laughs> I can sing too. That's okay. Oh, please, <laughs> spare me. Your singing is an atrocity. feel like I'm like on a trip at Disneyland. On a ride at Disneyland. We're there. Thanks for giving me a lift, Petrovich. Look at all these people. What happened? And don't forget, after the official ceremony. So they ran out of green stuff, and then all of these people like just be there. died. Some probably on missions, but because just radiation. And poor little Kirill was left by himself. Rosny Prospect. Colonel, sir. Hey. Ascom. Colonel, sir, please proceed. The general is expecting you. I don't need to use this camera. If you take the well, look how nice you've got it, you sir. To see the thing you started to the end. Like your outfit. Dismissed. Yeah, get, get out of here. Up. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh, Slava. I've been waiting for you. Come on in. Make yourself comfy. There's been a new development here while you are out barbecuing. Take a look at these maps. I like your plant. Background radiation? Yes, stalkers brought this in from the Fatcom Center. And now I want you so to. So they have stalkers to too, even though they're the two ones. separate ecosystems Detail that developed the on their own. So that we oh, I guess the stalkers go. go all over the place. Take this under personal control and ensure complete secrecy. Okay. Which would mean that the go stalkers the know about the, the separate the metro stations that are this is existing. Us, mind you. But they never told anybody. Yes. Does that make sense? We can't delay any longer. We're out of green stuff. We'll have to resort to confiscations, so everything must stay under wraps. For what is this green stuff anyway? Secrecy? Where did they get That's it? Good news. People would donate their stock voluntarily if we told them. Not my decision, Slava. Still, sometimes it makes sense to save the goodness for life. I see. Thanks for telling me. Remember, it's between us. You know me. I'm gonna go home and well, tell everybody. Uh, wait a second. Happy New Year. As a hero of the war on slime and a lone father, you are hereby granted a New Year's present from the command. A one-month allowance for two. <laughs> Thanks. I won't hold you any longer. But nice. How about some tea? Sure. You do know how to keep a man away from his family. <laughs> how is Seryoga doing? <laughs> Full of himself, obviously. Just think about it. My son is a captain now. I never raised a finger for that. Can you believe that? Of course no, I, I don't. can. That's just typically you. I believe he must achieve everything himself. It builds character. Or it makes life more difficult for him when it doesn't need he to be. He to be on the soft side. Like his mom. He really toughened up now. You are always hard on him. Almost too hard. I could never be like that. Actually, and I speak as someone who's been watching you too, I think you're doing amazingly well. Thank you. He's growing up a real man, an Oscom fighter. <laughs> He'll be the only survivor, yes, he yeah. He's a huge fan of all things Oscom. We're like superheroes in his eyes. A bit chilling, actually. But we are heroes. We're saving who we can, and it's all for our children's sake. What could be chilling in that? He still doesn't understand many things and idealizes us. He's a kid. Thinks we are knights without fear and beyond reproach, but real life is complicated. Well, the longer he can he go without realizing that, the better. Things. And then look into his eyes thinking, 
Would he understand if I told him about that? And that day will come. Kirill is a real man. He will understand. A real hero lover isn't someone flexing his muscles and wearing shiny armor. A hero is someone who does what needs to be done. He may get splashed with dirt, even blood sometimes, but he still does the thing because it is necessary. Understanding this makes a man a man. Mm, or a woman a woman. Maybe. But it's quite close to the ends justify the means from there, though. Oh, come on. Stop your Such preaching. A load of crap. Oh, the ends justify the means. You can't say that. Those are bad, bad words. Shame on you. Our philosophy professor, Maria Ivanovna, told us that. <laughs> but I say they do. How else would you achieve anything? You sacrifice something to get somewhere. Did this ever work differently? Do they always? All right. You got me there. You're right. That's how you achieve things. But I always thought that it was a question of sincerity, if they do or not. Being sincere with yourself first and foremost. That was I like how they make him wait to finish talking before he drinks. I bet you took Maria Ivanovna's advanced course too. <sighs> <laughs> uh, well, I think I'll get going now. Yes. Peace out. Slava, I'm sorry I kept you here. Go. Go see your son. Give my regards to Kirill and a happy new year. I'll be working on my speech in the meantime. This way. Colonel, sir. This place is nice. All this underground. Hello, well, this Colonel, looks familiar. Sir. Happy new year to you. This looks like it was ripped Happy out of year. one Duty of the previous tonight. games. I feel for you. You know, sir, it could have been worse. Yeah, at least dumping the green stuff storage isn't a hard job, really. Hey guys, we're gonna be late. You want a drink? What do you mean, Grisha? There's a lot of time left. Besides, hello, sir. There's too many people in the way. You can't it's really go through. Just look at yourself, you pig! I go to the restaurant? I just... So this is the new year. Your children have nothing to eat, and you drink your wages away. There's always that guy. Come. Yeah. We are celebrating here. Come join us, sir. Carry on. I'm going home. Happy New Year. It's been a while since I last saw Happy New Year, Colonel Klebnikov. Same to you, Misha. I love all these details. So cool. We are outside, are we not? We are not the morals to live out our lives underground, you know. Oh, what a surprise! Drink to the New Year with us, Colonel, sir. What are those little circles? Hello, sir. Join us, please. No. Wait, where am I going? Now. I'm peeking through the curtain. All these dialogue. Oh, this is the place where we went through in the game, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect an ambush yet. <laughs> this is what it looked like before. Oh, that's really sad. Great disguise, Private. Though I must ask, where is your citrep? Oh, the mission of helping prepare the celebration is almost accomplished. There is just one light bulb remaining, sir. At ease, Private. I'll help you. Happy New Year, Dad. I didn't think you'd make it in time. You were late Give for me a life day. And mom's anniversary, too. You Thanks see, for rubbing it I in and reminding me. I was my best to make sure there were as few sad anniversaries in other families as possible. Oh, I understand. Good to hear that. Do you? Because then now, why are you bringing it up again? Turn it on. Mission accomplished. Good job, Private. Thank you. Oh, Ted, I have something for you. 
Here, Petrovich oh. will be fix it. Thank you. Oh, thank you, son. That is really sad to look around Speaking and see what this Petrovich, looks like with all full of people and lights and all happy. Celebration is over, and then we ran through it and to wash their faces and arrive at Petrovich's place wearing dress uniform. There were skeletons Yay. and it was all like right at Petrovich's clean face and dress destroyed. Uniform. Roger that, Corona, sir. Wow, the tree is so beautiful. Yes, listen. Dear citizens of Krasny Prospect and our guests from other stations. Year 2034 is almost over. It wasn't an easy year, but all the hardship only served to make us close our ranks around our common goal. The well-being of everyone living down here in the tunnels. We are all looking forward to the coming year. Expecting it's change not, for the better. You shouldn't be. And it is sure to arrive to our concerted effort as a community. On behalf of OSCOM leadership, I thank you all for your good work and wish you a happy new year. Happy 2035. It still says 2034. 10, Never mind. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. That's cool. New year. Well, it was nice while it lasted. Miller here. Comms check. Do you read me? Over. I'm at the trading stores. Where's that passage to Sibirskaya? It's down there. Oscar East used to be there. They brought the green substitutes from the people there. I see. Confiscations. None of them better come alive. Found it. Thank you, Private. Citizens, we urge you to remain calm. Voluntarily submit your stocks of radio protector to the authorities. Remember, our common duty is to stand together and ensure the common good of all the citizenry. May I, General? Sir. Not funny, Slava. Is this the same office? What's up at Sibirskaya? We're all done there, and this is what we got. It's not much. This is bad. We're in the middle of a fallout spot, and we'll have to roast for 500 clicks at the very least. Your guys brought a bunch of maps, but there are no really safe areas on any of them. I had hopes for Lake Baikal, but... Still looking for Baikal. That's where we end up. The archive is trash. Baikal. As for the radiation, that's what the filters are for. Keeping the dust out. Filters. All the carriages are so radioactive, no filters will help us without the green stuff. There will be children, too. You have a son yourself, so you know children need more. I know. Do we have enough? Not for everyone at once. First, we'll evacuate the core people, prepare clean rolling stock, and then bring everybody else out. So you mean we're going to split people into sorts? The ones we say first, and then the rest, you know the what's dregs? what's at stake? Our children, among all else. What's there to discuss? <laughs> Didn't expect that from you, of all people. Think about Kirill. I, for one, thought about him. You two will be leaving with the first train. So don't fail me. No, now. we won't. Just forget it all and take a break. Your people can handle the prospect by themselves. That's gotta be really right. tough <sighs> to decide. I want another smoke. How about you? We just had a really long conversation. <sighs> Where's the gameplay? We're shooting stuff. Do. 
Help yourself, then. It's been a while since I had smokes like this. The dirty stations are crawling with troublemakers. You know the sort. They've been rambling about doing away with the regime and starting a new life. And they're going to catch the day. Exactly. As soon as it becomes known that we've no good stuff left, and then the rumors of evacuation start. And they will. Not really. Exaggerated ones at that. The leadership is running away, abandoning the common folk. A chance they won't miss. Well, I mean, that's what they're doing. Me, though. We'll uphold order for as long as we can. God save us from a full blown uprising. Still, God favors the prepared. Keep your weapon ready, Slava. We're in for one bumpy ride. <sighs> yes, this is going to get ugly. But we don't have a choice in this. Either we save who we can, or we descend into chaos and all die. So if you do have to shoot, look at this as a war on leaving the dead. Each rioter is an animated corpse trying to drag us what? into its grave. A cynical view. Cynical, but realistic. Terrible. Let's hope it doesn't go that far. Are your people ready to do their part? Well, those who weren't all dropped out years ago. What's your take on the others? I'm not sure about some of them. We'll start quietly disbanding and disarming their units. You are risking splashing fuel on the embers. What else can I do? Damned if I do and if I don't. Shouldn't have been allowed to get this <sighs> you know, advanced in the first place. Should have moved out before. I guess I'll excuse myself. Of course. Have some rest while you still have a chance. I fear you haven't got long. And Slava, take care. You too, Tolia. Bye, Tolia. What did he say? Well, he said they understand our predicament and they value our contribution and cooperation a lot. And as soon as they get a hold of the new stock, we will be reimbursed fully and with interest, just as the paper says. New stock. He basically hinted that I had an official paper signed and stamped, and that was the best I could have. What was your answer? Hello, sir. How can you do this to us? Colonel, please, tell them to do something. Please, Colonel, tell them to stop pumping it out. We can't do it anymore. Please Colonel, stay calm. Permission They'll to address. be starting soon. Oh Granted. An anonymous tip on excess stock. We can't ignore those, but he won't open the door. Hmm. I see. Let's oh, go. is it dude? What the hell is with you? It's old dude who's been stalking it for his granddaughter. I feel like you like me a lot. What were you doing? So I just remembered the new year. Didn't we have a drink right over here? Here. You're Come over here, sir. Of course I do. Open up, Petrovich. Slava. Uh, Come in. Thanks. Mikhail Petrovich, you know why we are here. I suggest you donate your excess stock voluntarily, or there will be trouble. I can't. How did they know about it? You know I can't do that. It is for my granddaughter. I have been saving from my own allowance. I can't do anything. We had a tip about your stock and had to react to that. Commence the search. Check there. Hmm. You don't gotta be mean. I earned this. Saved my wages. I know, but he we follow the rules. I found a cash point. He does have some. I can't Not too much here, though. My granddaughter is sick. She needs that. Sure, your granddaughter. Right, but it's going to the market. Colonel, tell them, please. Sorry, dude. You know it's true. Sir, this can't be all he has. Done. Enough. We're only confiscating the excess stock. But, sir, I will have to report everything. Take this to HQ and report that stopping the search was my decision. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know you didn't have a choice, sir. Thanks. That we're supposed I'm to be sorry. taking all of it? Too. You were right about choice, though. Nobody had it. I'll be going now. <sighs> Thank Don't you. mention it. Thank you, Slava. Enough is enough. 
Your quota wasn't conjured out of thin air, it was calculated properly, and you're short. Pay the rest. Look, officer. This is terrible. Where am I supposed to get so much? Welcome to the prospect. Please wait for processing. <laughs> and now they don't have their stuff, so everybody's getting sick. Pictures are drawing themselves mysteriously on the walls. Is this where he, we lived? I didn't Ascom, realize. Open up. Ah, hello there, private. I'm completely. Still looks drained. the same. He kept the plants alive and everything. Oh, Can he's you? all mad. Hmm. We're not heroes all after right, all. Man. Tell me what's going on. Nothing. I just don't want. You don't want what? To be a private. And I don't want to be an Oscom anymore. Right. Please elaborate on that. I want to see Biraskaya. And I saw the soldiers taking green stuff from people. I mean, one traitor, when I gave it to them, started shouting. They beat them up and took all the green stuff anyway. Well, this is just unacceptable. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to get their names. Stop lying. Oscom protects people. But you just take their green stuff away. Why? It's not easy. We're short on green stuff. That's why we must take from those who have lots of it and give to those who don't have enough. Or else the rich would just sit on their stock while the poor would all die. Could you call that fair? Not at all. Of course I couldn't call that fair. Right. Of course, those who we take from aren't happy, but there's no other way, you see? Yeah, if I had all my green stuff taken, I wouldn't be happy about that. But I understand now. Good. Still, those soldiers. But he's wrong. lying, because that's I'll not what's sure happening. Punished, and then they'll have to go and apologize. Yes, make them. They apologize, but they're not going to give it back. Great. Speaking of green stuff, it's time we gave you a shot, so give me your arm. All right. Oh, we have plenty, don't we? Didn't help us in the end. Although, he had three left. I guess that's what saved us Done. in the main game. This is so much more storytelling than we got in the game. There's more character development. There's more emotion. It's like they they put all their writing in this. Of course, at this point, it's just like a visual novel. Really good. Kirill, Miller here. Do you read? Over. I read you, Colonel. There's some static. Over. I hear static too. I'm entering Sibirskaya. Don't go in Sibirskaya. Is this where the last battle happened? Over. So they were fighting each other. From father's words, right before the rioters started their last attack, we had to talk. Dad, do you know? So he was by himself for three months. Basically, the rioters are advancing. There's no time for rest. 
me that. If we, Oscar, are protecting people, why lie to them? Wow. You've grown up, Private. And I'm none the wiser. So let's have a grown-up talk. Should we tell the truth? Of course. But life is a complex thing. In the hands of our enemies, truth may be dangerous. We must carefully choose who we can entrust with it, and who we cannot. The command sees the whole picture, and makes decisions. However unpleasant those decisions might be sometimes, they are still necessary. The command thinks about everyone, while the civilians only think about themselves. That is why the truth that might scare them, must be kept secret, for their own good. Do you understand that? I do, but still... This is a scary way of thinking. There are a lot of scary things in life. Yet, I brought you up well. You are strong and brave. You can take it. You have All white right. eyelashes. Time to go. You get home and don't step out or let anyone in until I noticed I'm the important it's thing. It's an order. Yes, Colonel, sir. Sergeant, walk him home. Yes, sir. Let's go, Kirill. All right. Good luck, son. Are we gonna have to go and shoot people? I don't want to. Oh. Long barrel. Reflex sight. My capacity. Green laser. And then. Heavy grip. Double barrels. Closed reflex sight. What's that? I don't know. And then I guess make as much ammo as I can. It's terrible. We like turned on our own people. Yeah, what's up? I'm really digging the storytelling. Father, I'm sorry about that. I know you had no choice. <laughs> had I said nothing, they would have never believed. They Water under the bridge. Neither I nor you had a choice in this, Petrovich. Good luck to you too. See you on the train. Thank you. At least his granddaughter is still alive. Hello, Colonel, sir. Glad to see you back. Give me another chance, in case I missed the first one. What happened here? What are you doing? Colonel, sir. Got nothing to say? I got something to say. Well, don't stand around. Man the defenses. Yes, sir. Well, I don't return from this, do I?
I'm sure that would have happened even if I had helped. Isn't that the same gun as me? This music. I guess I gotta go down. Hey, really, I don't want to shoot anybody. <laughs> I mean, they're doing it all for me. Move up. Listen here. The engineers are all down. You okay? Are set. We have to reach the detonation device and use it. Reach the destination detonation device. Got it. Lieutenant, I'll take the detonator. Give me cover. Yes, sir. Attention! Covering fire for the Colonel. No saving ammo. Go to that! I guess I'm gonna have to shoot people. So terrible. So we tried to disarm our other people and yeah, things didn't go very well. Now I got a burned body on me. Quiet on my side, too. Come in, HQ. Klebnikov here. HQ here. One charge didn't work. Damn. Fall back to Sibirskaya and stop them there. I got no one else to rely on. Roger that. Over and out. <laughs> Dude, where'd he go? Colonel! Uh, here! Here, sir! Oh, can I just go?
I'm killing people? to know what I'm supposed to be doing. Hold them here! To the last man! There won't be any reinforcements! It's either us or them! To the last man. was supposed to happen because don't I die <clears throat> I don't think I was supposed to be able to take that guy down oh did they win survives they have all the green stuff nobody survives though <laughs> is that this is actually believable. I'll report to the general. In a post-apocalyptic scenario, people would totally divide into factions and turn on each other. Especially once resources became scarce. Killing people? Operation successful. Ponds are all dealt with. Ready for evacuation. You fucker. <laughs> what do you mean? Already left. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> We're covering evacuation. <laughs> evacuation? But you just killed everyone! Soldiers! Civilians! Nobody left to evacuate! Slava! There's only enough green stuff left to evacuate the leadership! Everyone else is doomed! Gas was used just to cut the agony short. They gassed their own people? You knew it all along, you motherfucker! Shoot him in the head! <coughs> Did I have a choice? Or just disarm him and leave him behind. Now. 
Oh, they abandoned him. Good. Get Sirioga on the line now. What? Dead. Sirioga. Ha! Son. You did it all for nothing. Now listen to me. There's an RPG in the gun cabinet. Get it and rush to the old crossroads. Blow the fuckers up there. Go! <laughs> so, what do we do now? <laughs> Whatever. I had enough. <coughs> so long, Slava. <coughs> Jeez. That was intense and emotional. I'm so much more into this story than <laughs> the story about Anna, Dad, Anna, Dad. being sick. Uncle Polia? Did he just kill himself? Because he was an asshole. Why? Don't look there. He already I'm looked. Sorry, it's already embedded order. in his memory Don't forever. Me at the station. They're doing quiet. And he didn't come. I was worried. And I went looking for you. Listen. I told you earlier. Who should be told the truth? And who should not? Forget it. It's not for us to decide. And if you're being fooled, it's never for your own good. That's why he's dead. I... I understand. Good. And now, let's go home, son. So everybody didn't die. Some people just abandoned them. I wonder how many people actually evacuated, like five people, ten people. Oh, is this the evacuating? No, that they were went on a train, didn't they? Kirill, Miller here. I'm at the bunker entrance. Roger that, Colonel. You'll be off the grid inside. So please. I will, Kirill. Miller, over and out. What's that? Oh. Pine, this is Older. Come in, Older. Older, this is Pine. Speak. Over. So he was by himself for I'm a month. The bunker door. <laughs> I'll be off the grid while I'm trying Batman. to follow. Don't know how long. When is the next scheduled radio contact? Keep me sharp, Colonel. The battery? Keeping it charged. The door? Closed. I'm eating the liver too. I'm burning the slime, and I don't go to the dirty stations ever. Dad. You have the whole cheat sheet for me. I'm reading of it now. You do just that. Reading helps you remember. That's all, Pine. I'm going offline. Roger that, Older. Over and out. Pine, come in. Over. Pine here. Over. I love you, son. A whole lot. Uh, I love you too, Dad. And I want you to eat that liver without fail. Over and out. So were they the only two people left at all? For the seven thingies. That's gonna help a whole lot. Yeah. I'm holding it correctly. It's lit. Please, no snotty, slimy things. Actually, I might, I might prefer that over whatever they have waiting for me. Smurf? So far, our efforts have been consistent 
slowly proving fruitless. Smart. But now, you must be successful, no matter the cost. I can disclose the ultimate goal of this search at the moment, but I'll have you know that the lives of all the Metro dwellers depend on it. This step will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, gentlemen. Will it? One, two, three, four, five. I call bullshit. Um, I'm guessing that the game's going to direct me. Anything else? Oh, what is it going to be? Is it going to be like Sandmen or Howlers? I'd rather not. I'd rather have little, little worm things, I think. I've decided. Pumped up. I pressed square to hold it correctly. You are all witness. There's no slime. What is that? It's a light. Wow, I wish I had had this in the, the main game. Just to avoid having to constantly pump up the flashlight. Oh well, I guess I constantly have to pump this up. Net. Garage. I heard something. I did hear something. <laughs> No jump scares. <laughs> I feel like Ripley. Except I'm not as badass. Noises. Man. that noise. I've decided. Can't I just sit back and watch more more movie? <gasps> that was awesomely creepy. I don't like it. It's not appreciated at all. Expecting something to come out of one of these vents. What? Why? Why lights? <laughs> I 
I do hate constantly having to pump this up. Why am I holding it like this? I was not trying to pump it up. Not like these holes. And why are they giving me so much stuff? Now I really feel like Ripley. Does it do that? Oh, God, I didn't even see you. Ah! I'm not trying to melee, man. Maybe I should get away from the freaking... down the trigger it's not oh my god i'm not even turning it on what's going <sighs> this is so frustrating i hit l2 like three times man let myself die because I'm just so annoyed. Ah. Fuck, man. I'm, I'm trying to charge it for fuck's sake. If I push square too early, like while he's like reloading, it doesn't count. Why is it firing immediately now? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like sometimes I have to hold it down and like prime it up or something. Nonsense.
thought I would be safe since there's a freaking thing. It's not as awesome as my other flamethrower. They like downgraded me. Cause they're assholes. Let them get out of the water. Where are you going? I'm gonna go, um, <laughs> make more. Oh, I didn't even use that much. Beeping. Oh, God. Should I not be picking up the fuel? I mean, it just gives me mats because I'm full. I'm holding it correctly. been imminent for like half an hour now I'm out of patience I'm waiting for the fire to die down because I don't know if that hurts me don't go in here is what this is saying let's go in there but first ah! oh god please fire it's not! Why? <laughs> There's... Ugh. There's surely some explanation for why it doesn't fire. But I don't understand it. Look how quickly it's losing its... pump. Should I go back to that other crafting table or should I expect that there will be another one? I don't even remember. Extended tank. It like resets my my pump every time I stop at a crafting table. Ah! Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh God. Hurry up. It's 
not firing. I don't know why. It's not firing. Nay. What is that glowing over there? I don't fucking care. I can't get into the... Good. I'm good. I keep trying to figure out why it doesn't... Shoot. Oh, fuck off. shooting. Why? No, really. I don't know why I'm not shooting. I hit I've hit reload like 50 times. What the fuck? I don't know if I need to be pounding on square. That was so frustrating. There was no reason for me to not be sh sh firing. I don't understand. I couldn't reload because it was already full. And it was in the green, so I didn't need to pump it up. I just couldn't. It just doesn't do it sometimes. Or sometimes I have to hold it down for a second or two before it does. It 
and sometimes it does it immediately. It makes no sense. And if it was like some kind of mechanic, you'd think that I would have figured it out by now because I've been struggling with it since the beginning of the DLC. Is that where I came from? Am I just going in a circle? tell. <laughs> what the fuck? I pass that dude. Then I go till I can't go anymore. And then I turn around and I go back, apparently. Oh my god. Reboot. I don't understand. Hasn't it? It's been literally going on for like two hours now. Yeah, make more noise. Why don't you? I don't even know why I'm here. is coming. Can't you, like, take it and verify later? It is. This is it. I found Look it. at his hand is still in the shape. Be quiet, man. Under the table? No, that'd be too awesome. I don't need the music. Where's the ape? Reserve power failure switching to main power. Shouldn't you be on the main power source to start with? Come this way 
to begin with. If it's this close to the exit. Oh my god. I don't think the system is rebooting now for some reason. I don't believe it. Immediately. My God, that was cool. Oh no! I told you you should have done it right away, man. anyway this is the map that Kirill gives to the colonel and Artyom yeah I guess so because that's why um, the colonel said your dad was a hero the map was Kirill, what we needed or something I'm coming back I just need a tiny bit of rest I'm just so tired. And then the colonel comes and finds his corpse with the map. That's so terrible, and I hate that flamethrower. It it almost makes me wonder if my controller is like malfunctioning or something, but it works fine on other games. It worked fine throughout the main game. Worked fine with the gun, it just doesn't work with the flamethrower. And somebody's gonna tell me in the comments why I'm having problems with the flamethrower and it's gonna be really obvious and I'm gonna feel really dumb. <laughs> I'm really annoyed. Don't tell me. <laughs> just let me be mad. There you are, brother. Hmm. You found the maps and took a break, I see. I need a breather, too. Boy, did these hunks of iron chase. Gotta watch out not to stay for too long, though. Your son sent me here, told where to look. He's tough, your Kirill. Yes, I can see his effort. Children, it's always about them. I'm here because of my daughter. She's smart, strong, kind, beautiful. I can't even tell you how proud I am of her and how much I love her. D I'm don't trying to be a father, take the watch, but end up a colonel. It's as if by showing affection, I'd also show my vulnerability, not just to her. To her husband, too. At first, I even thought that boy was all right. But his obsession with truth started driving me mad. He kept risking his life while he had the love of the best woman in the world. Maybe that's why? Decent people want normal things. A thicker broth, a warm place to call home, and healthy children. But he wants truth. <laughs> Decent people want normal things. At those maps. Boy, was I mad at him. But then I took a closer look at the world. Re-examined my life up to that point somewhat. Especially when I heard your story. I saw my past self in you, friend. 
We both served the great lie. Yep. Because we both made ourselves believe it was necessary. And if not for him, I would have ended up like you did. Mm. But now, finally, my life has a He died holding the change. Oh, because I can take the watch. Look the truth in the eye. I think you understand. Thank you for the maps. Don't think it was all in vain. You saved us all. And Creel, I'll give him this watch and make sure he gets out of this hellhole. You have my word. Well, it's time. Farewell, Colonel Klipnikov. Rest easy. Oh no. Oh, Colonel. Artyom, stay with me. He only had Hold one on. and it used it on Artyom. Son. And it didn't save him anyway. The two colonel. Wow. That was really good. The storytelling was really good. Like the environmental storytelling, the yapping storytelling, the gameplay, the combination of gameplay with like cutscenes. I don't know what was wrong with the flamethrower. I'm still bitter about that. I probably always will be. When I think of the two kernels, I will think of the flamethrower. But that was really fantastic. It was like the story was even better than <laughs> the main game story. The graphics even looked better. Everything about it was better. It was really sad, too. Like, wow, the main game is really sad, and then this was even more sad? How was that possible? Either way, I'm still going to play the next DLC, Sam's Story. I will be playing that next. I hope you guys will tune in. If you liked this episode, please don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel very, 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 very slowly, but surely. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.